Sake Bleu. Let's talk about it. Napoleon is in cinemas as of the 22nd of November. A historical epic that details the checkered rise and fall of French Emperor Napoleon Bonaparte and his relentless journey to power through the prism of his addictive and often volatile relationship with his wife Josephine. Recently I've been reading the biography of Nelson Mandela and if you didn't know there was a period in his life that he spent in prison for 27 years and watching this film it felt like I was alongside him for every single one of them. I really wanted to like it and I had high hopes for it too because of the talent involved. Ridley Scott, legendary director, responsible for the likes of Alien, Blade Runner, The Martian, American Gangster, Gladiator, Are You Not Entertained? No beloved I wasn't. Oscar winning Joaquin Phoenix, Vanessa Kirby, both who were great but it just didn't connect with me at all. I appreciated the unexpected humour and the battles which at times dazzled in scale and spectacle and the harrowing and visceral nature but aside from that though I struggled to stay awake and I was begging for it to be over by the time it got to the end of that 2 hour and 40 minute runtime, which felt much longer. On paper you have so much history and political nuance and this film attempts to condense 30 years of that into 2 hours and as a result you don't get a deep sense of any of it. Only thing that you get a sense of is his violent delusions of grandeur, which I suppose you could call his Napoleon complex. And it seems like it's gonna be divisive. I've already seen some five star reviews, so you could still enjoy, but I can only give you my experience and I couldn't personally recommend that you go to the cinema to see it. And after seeing this film, the only Napoleon that I acknowledge is Napoleon Dynamite. I'm your boy Miles. Thank you for watching as always. Peace, love. And follow for more movie content.